Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, good afternoon and welcome to the iconic Claridge's Hotel in London, where we are celebrating the Longines World's Best Racehorse and the Longines World's Best Horse Race Award. My name is Liz Price and I would like to extend a very warm welcome to all our viewers across the globe who are following us via video live streaming. I'm sure you all agree the 2017 season was peppered with unforgettable highlights, some of which we are going to relive today. And for this, I would like to invite Mr. Juan Carlos Capelli, the Vice President of Longines and Head of International Marketing, as well as Mr. Louis Romanet, the Chairman of the IFHA, to come to the stage. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Juan Carlos. Monsieur le Président, cher Louis, Messieurs les vice-présidents, dear Excellencies, dear partners, dear friends, on behalf of the Longine Management, we would like to address you a warm welcome to this fifth ceremony of the Longines World Best Resource and Horse Race Awards. As in previous year, we have chosen London, one of the most iconic cities of the world, to host this very much awaited ceremony, which is aimed to recognize greatness and honor, excellence in horse racing. Firstly, I would like to address my special thanks to our dear partner, the International Federation of Horse Racing Authorities, and especially its chairman, Monsieur Louis Romanet, for the successful collaboration and the strong links we have been establishing through the years. Longines recognizes that great partnerships in sport begin with trust and friendship. I think that we can be really proud of all the achievements we have made in order to promote and develop horse racing all around the world. I would like also to express my sincere thanks to the international handicappers, as well as the British horse racing authorities, which made the organization of this ceremony possible. Before unveiling this year's reception of the Longines World Best Resource and the Horse Race Award, let me say a few words about our long-lasting passion for equestrian sports, a passion that we obviously share with the IFHA. For our brand, everything started 140 years ago, when Longines produced a chronograph engraved with a jockey and his mount. This exceptional timepiece can be admired in our museum in saint as well as many other watches reflecting our rich history linked to equestrian sport. For many years now, Longines has played a major role in the equestrian world, and not only in the discipline of flat racing. We are very proud to be also engaged in show jumping, particular through our long-lasting partnership with the Federation Equestre Internationale, as well as in the discipline of dressage, driving, eventing, and endurance. Being the official partner and official watch of an institution as prestigious as the IFHA, it is a true honor for Longines, as we share values that are very dear to our heart. Tradition, elegance, and performance. Those values have always been part of our brain DNA and are perfectly perfected in today's ceremony where we aim to recognize great equine athletes and their determination, spirit, and will to win. In the frame of our association with the IFHA, we developed the sporting aspect of horse racing through a series of awards recognizing excellence. Of course, I am thinking of the two awards we are already celebrating today the Longines World Best Resource Award and the Longines World Best Horse Race Award. 
but also the Laurie Wall Best Jockey Award, presented to Hugh Bowman at the Gala Dinner and on the Longines International Hong Kong Races. Not forgetting the Longines and Aifachi Award of Merit, which celebrates last year the Japanese jockey Yukata Take. Either celebrating a horse, jockey, athlete, race or public figure, all of these awards have an essential role to play in making each competition unique and truly breathtaking. But no more words. Ladies and gentlemen, let me show you a short film illustrating all the awards created by Longines and the partners. Although this is a ladies' award, I do think I should underline the fact that it is very much an equal sport and has been for a long time. And there are plenty of women who've been respected for centuries for their success on horseback in a number of different uh, roles. And that is still true today. In a few minutes, together with the IFHA, we'll reward the 2017 Longines World Best Horse Race, as well as the top rated horse in the Longines World Best Resource Rankings. In order to pay tribute to their amazing performances, we'll be delighted to grant the winning connections with his elegant Longines timepiece and replicas of the beautiful vase and trophy you can see here. As you know, the Longines World Best Resource uh, has already recognized truly great and incredibly talented horses. Among the previous winners, we can see the French Trev, the Australian Black Caviar, the Japanese Just Away, American Pharaoh, and of course, the amazing Arrogate, who was honored here last year. Today, we will also celebrate the Longines World Best Horse race for the third time after the beautiful wins of the Qatar Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe in 2016 and the Breeders' Club Classic last year. Now I propose you to have a look back with a short video featuring all previous winners. We couldn't be more grateful to Longines for their interest not only in racing, but equestrian sport in general. Uh, they're a great partner. They stand for all the things that we stand for, sportsmanship, elegance, and uh, Juan Carlos and his team just do an amazing job as this event shows us. The class and the quality that Longines bring is exceptional. So I think very important that now we recognize best horses, best jockeys, best, best international of married people, and the best rankings. Ladies and gentlemen, the top award tonight goes to Black Caviar and Trev.
Ladies and gentlemen, the 2014 Longines World's Best Racehorse is just the way. The international award for the best horse race in the world is the Qatar Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. American Pharaoh as a winner of the 2015 Longines World Best Racehorse. The winner of the Longines World's Best Horse Race is the Breeders' Cup Classic run at Santa Anita and timed by Longines. I am very proud to declare Arrogate as a winner of the 2016 Longines World Best Racehorse. Before leaving the floor to Mr. Romanet, I would like to sincerely thank the IFHC for the precious support and for making the organization of this beautiful ceremony possible. Merci beaucoup. Ladies, gentlemen, thank you for your attention and I hope you are enjoying your time with us today. Merci. Dear friends, firstly, I want to thank the organizing team of this event from both Longines and the IFHA. Thank you also to Nick Rust and all those who are helping us to promote racing worldwide. As it will be shown again today, international competition is the key to establish world rankings. So I sincerely hope that by speaking one voice as they are doing it, the French, Irish, and English racing authorities will succeed in convincing the EU Brexit Task Force to prevent from any difficulty the movement of forces between our three countries and within all Europe. And we need your support of all of you. Today, we are organizing the Longines Award Ceremony for the fifth year. And I would like to present my warmest thanks to our exceptional partner, Longines, and to my great friend, Juan Carlos Capelli, for the outstanding support they are giving to international racing. Last month in Hong Kong, on December 8th, we presented the Longines World Best Jockey Award to Hugues Bowman, the first Australian jockey to receive it following his successes in the top 100 races in the world over the previous 12 months. On December 24th, we then presented the 2017 Longines and IFHA International Award of Merit to Yuta Katake for his outstanding career. Three days later, he won the Arima Kinen and Nakayama Racecourse, the last group one of the year, with Kitasan Black in front of more than 100,000 racegoers. Finally, I would like to thank the team of international handicappers for the work they did throughout the year to prepare the Longines World Rankings under the leadership of the two co-chairmen, Nigel Gray and Phil Smith, who will be available to speak to the press after the award ceremony. We'll now present you the Longines World Best Horse Race Award and the Longines World Best Resources Award for 2017. Thank you. This year, we are going to start the ceremony with the Longines World's Best Racehorse Award, where we don't just celebrate the highest rated horse, but also the third and the second highest rated horse. Then we shall proceed to honor the winners of the best race and the best racehorse. So, as Mr. Romani has already said, the handicappers will be there for questions later on, so the members of the press, please feel free to uh, approach them following the ceremony. But now, without further ado, I would like to invite Brian Kavanagh, the Vice Chairman of the IFHA, to come on stage and introduce the, the co-third highest rated horse. Thank you, Liz. Um, what a pleasure to be in London uh, in January among so many friends. I'd just like to endorse uh, Louis' thanks to Longines, to the BHA, uh, and his uh, comments about the handicappers uh, for the work that they put into uh, making today happen. Uh, it's my great pleasure to announce the first horse we're honouring today. 
It's a progressive individual. Cracksman ended the year as the highest rated three-year-old in the world, and I'm pleased to say contributed to the Irish Derby being the highest rated three-year-old race in the world. His rating of 130 makes him the joint third highest horse in the world for 2017. Cracksman earned this rating in the Group 1 Kipco Champion Stakes in October, which he won in thrilling fashion by seven lengths. Cracksman, as we know, is from the first crop of the mighty Frankel, and I'm delighted to say that he stays in training again next year, uh, uh, this year, in 2018, which is wonderful news uh, for all in the sport. His connections, as you know, are, are no strangers to the Longines Award, as they were honoured in 2015 for their association with uh, Golden Horn, whom I'm told is a relation of Cracksman. Uh, so, without any further ado, with the rating of 130, uh, the co-third highest rated horse in the world in 2017 was Cracksman. Cracksman closing, and right down the outside, Bay of Poets hunting both of them down. Permian out in front has the lead from Cracksman, who's edging closer as the line comes. Permian Cracksman throwing one final thrust and close. Frankie taking a hold there on Cracksman on the inside restraint, and it's strongly Spanish steps taken over now by Cracksman. Cracksman though is pouring on the pressure as he races down towards the final furlong and a half, but, but Cracksman is clear, entering the final furlong by a good five or six lengths, and he's absolutely going to wrap the opposition. Cracksman and Frankie de Torre, and he wins by five lengths, Cracksman. Et les voilà qui s'élancent pour le Qatar Priniel. Cracksman qui est cadencé à son extérieur par Franck Dettori, qui place maintenant son accélération à 400 mètres du but. Que Cracksman qui est désormais course gagnée. Cracksman qui va s'imposer dans un excellent style. And Cracksman is given the office and allowed to use his giant stride. Chased by Poet's Word. Highland Reel on the outside. Success days. Bramato is running on. Cracksman the one to catch in the champion. Two legs, three legs to Poet's Word. Recoletos is staying on well. But Cracksman looks relentless here. Cracksman opening up. Four, five legs clear as they race up towards the line. And here is a champion. Cracksman wins the champion in fantastic style. In the manner of his sire, Frankel, you have just seen a demolition. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Mr. Anthony Oppenheimer, the owner of Cracksman, and Mr. John Gorston, his trainer. Oppenheimer, may I, could I just bother you? Thank you. Yes. Mr. Oppenheimer, many congratulations. Um, you were determined to run Cracksman in the uh, British Champion Stakes, the Kipco British Champion Stakes. He won it by seven length. What do you expect him to do this year? Well, that's a very good question. I think you should ask the trainer, but still. <laughs> um, I, I hope that he's going to go on improving. He's putting on weight, he's getting stronger. Uh, we're looking forward to meeting Enabled, possibly in the Ark, possibly earlier, we shall see. But I see no reason why, I went to see him at Newmarket last week, why he shouldn't do better next year, or this year, I mean. Absolutely, we want him to do just as well as he did last year, and we shall now ask the trainer, if I may, just, John, if you could uh, tell me about Cracksman's programme. So where are we going to see him first? Well, I think it's very good of uh, Mr. Oppenheimer to defer to me, the trainer, but I've learned two things in life. The first thing, you defer to the horse. And uh, he's in full of himself. He's put three bucks in a rear in before he canter today. So we're very happy with him. He's in great form. And having listened to the horse, I'll then have to listen to a very tricky Dottori, and Mr. <laughs> Frankie Dottori, who, as usual, will tell me exactly what I should be doing. And every time he walks into the yard, I said, do remember he has a trainer's license at the moment, you know. So by the time I've listened to Frankie and the horse and talked to Mr. Oppenheimer, we'll be told what to do as usual. 
Right, that was a very diplomatic answer. <laughs> I think we can all agree, so it will be a surprise. Um, but anyway, we all look forward to seeing Cracksman wherever he may start his year. Congratulations one more time. Thank you. And I would now like to ask Mr. Jim Gagliano, the Vice Chairman of the IFHA, to come on stage and to present the other horse that was the third highest rated horse of the year. Thank you, Liz. And hello to everyone here today with us in London and those watching via live stream. I understand we may have our best, uh, biggest audience uh, watching today's program, and I think that's a, a tribute to the organizers. I'm pleased to introduce the other individual honored as the co-third highest rated horse in the world. He's been a model of consistency in American racing, and he has won top races from coast to coast. Gunrunner was a talented three-year-old, but, in, but he turned into one of the best as a four-year-old. Last year, he won five of six starts, and four of them were grade ones, including the Breeders' Cup Classic. Although Gunrunner's career is, is drawing to a close, it should be noted that he's going to run in four days, where he's expected to go off as the heavy favorite in the $16 million Pegasus World Cup. We wish him well. Let's revisit Gunrunner's success in 2017. Gunrunner broke very well from the inside. Gunrunner now levels out and runs away. And they're off in the Stephen Foster. Gunrunner the one to catch. Stanford is poised for the stretch drive. Top of the stretch of the Stephen Foster. And Florence Rue shakes up Gunrunner. There's 100 yards left. And Gunrunner with gusto in the Stephen Foster wins for fun. Gunrunner, Giroux coming forward. They're off. The Whitney, and now Florent Giroux lets Gunrunner go, and he's opened up a four-length lead. Breaking Lucky is second, Keen Ice on the outside is third as they come to the line. Gunrunner wins the Whitney. The final time was one minute, 47.71 seconds. Gunrunner makes his move for the lead as they come to the top of the stretch in the Woodward. Neolithic put to a full out drive, and then comes Rally Cry and War Story on the outside, but it's Gunrunner and he's opening up. Florent Giroux took a peek to his left there. Gunrunner's got a six length lead in mid stretch. They're way behind Gunrunner. Very impressive in the Woodward. They're off in the Breeders' Cup Classic. And it's collected and Gunrunner, they've been battling since the gates opened. Gunrunner's got the lead. Gunrunner's on top of the world! He wins the Breeders' Cup Classic! Ladies and gentlemen, at 1.30, the, the co-third highest rated horse in the world for 2017, Gunrunner. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Mr. Case Clay from Three Chimneys Farm and Kona of Gunrunner. Mr. Clay, hello. You don't have to be diplomatic. We know he runs in four days' time. <laughs> How has he been? He's done very well in training. Of course, I'm not the trainer, but uh, on behalf of Team Gunrunner, um, we're very, very happy to be here. Um, the horse is doing well. Of course, it's a, it's a grade one for $16 million, so it's a lot of talented horses in the race, and hopefully he gets lucky. We hope so for you. Tell me, and after that, he's going to retire. What do you expect him to pass on to his offspring? Well, he carries his speed well. Um, he's a very good-looking horse, and he's, he's well-bred. So uh, hopefully all three of those attributes pass on well to his, his foals. Well, all the best of luck for this Saturday. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, congratulations to Gunrunner.
Thank you. We now come to the second highest rated horse, and for this I would like to invite Mr. Winfried Engelbert Breskes, the Vice Chairman of the IFHA, to present the award. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor to announce the second highest rated horse in the world for 2017, and one of the most popular horses our sport has known, especially in Australia. Rated at 132, Wings is the highest rated turf horse in the world, a winner of nine starts in 2017, including six Group 1 races. Wings has won her last 22 starts, all at pattern level, tying the great black caviar's record, which is a remarkable achievement. Wings' highest rated performance last year was in the George Ryder Stakes, a seven and a quarter length demolition of her competition, which included three Group 1 winners behind her in the placings. It's also her largest winning margin last year, which is a quite telling story, considering she registered a six and a half length win in the Turnbull Stakes at Flemington, and a five and a quarter length win in the Queen Elizabeth Stakes in Randwick. Among her most remarkable wins, from last season was the third success in the Cox Plate, a feat previously accomplished only just once. Wings is undoubtedly the current queen of the turf. Let's take a look back at her wonderful achievements. This is it, the return of Winks today. Here's 14 for the equine queen of the world, Winks. Great first up performance. They've got 200 metres to run. He hasn't even pushed the button on the mighty mare, Winks, and she's really starting to pull away. And the chipping Norton, it's been won by some of the legends, and that she is. Look at her, rip clear in all conditions, all distances, all challenges. Here's Sweet 16. This is it, the grand final of Australian racing. But away she goes now, Winks. She's racing royalty, this mare. The grandstand shaking. I could really feel the crowd's love for her. And what an honour it is just to be a part of her career. And Winks, she's still back last as they go past the 500 metres. Winks gets to the outside. She's cutting loose now. It's going to get desperate. Yes! She got it! Never give up, mate. Never give up. Now Winks has only got one more to pick up. And here she comes. Right over the top, Winks. 19 in a row. Here we go again. Winks from right out the back. Powers away from Happy Clapper and Fox Play. And the champ makes it 20 in a row. Racing's wonder of the world Puts up two legs, three legs Look at her go with 100 metres to go 21 today They're racing And Wings got away cleanly We've waited 35 years for this Bowman hasn't moved yet The valley's rocking and the world is docking It's Wings in front Cubidor's coming at her Wings is holding on She will be recognised, you know, as one of the greatest horses to us to grace the Australian turf. Ladies and gentlemen, with a rating of 132, the second highest rated horse in the world, the highest rated turf horse, and the highest rated filly or mare in the world for 2017, Wings. And please welcome all the way from Australia, the owners of Wings, Mrs. Debbie Capites, Mr. Peter Tai, and Mr. Rick Tariq. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Mrs. Kapitis, may I? We have seen many images of you watching Winx win again and again and again. She has won fabulous races like the Longin Queen Elizabeth Stakes and obviously the third Coxpate. I know you think it's a privilege to own her. Just tell us a little bit about that. Oh, yes. It, it's the most amazing feeling to be involved in a horse like Winx. She does it all on the track. She is the star. But we get taken along for this amazing roller coaster ride. Luckily, we're at the top of the roller coaster and we don't seem to be coming down for a little while. <laughs> She's... Um, I, I find it very hard to watch a race and not forget what's going on. Uh, I just get involved in the race and see it unfolding in front of me. The Long Jeans Queen Elizabeth was... It's, it's spine tingling. It's hard to, hard to explain the feeling you have when you're watching a horse in a race and she starts to come home. Hugh keeps her well going through the running, make sure she's out of trouble because that's what can bring you undone in racing. And then she goes for home and she knows she's going for home. It's surreal and I can't help but enjoy it. And then to get to the third, to go for the third Cox Plate, oh, my stomach was a total mess that day. So well, a lot of us. But um, she equaled Kingston Town's record. She had a fight on her hands near the end, but she knows where the winning post is and she has a strong, huge will to win. Hugh knows how to get the best out of her. He actually lets her do it. Uh, so I couldn't be prouder and I'm just on the best ride with the best people, with the best horse, jockey, trainer, huge team of us. And I have to say, as much as we enjoy seeing Winx win, we also love watching you <laughs> in the stands. Thank you very much, Mrs. Kipaitis. <laughs> Mr. Tai, Mr. Tai, may I just ask you for a diplomatic question? Because obviously we are delighted that she stays in training, and the question is, is she going to come to Europe or is she going for fourth Cox Plate? Well, firstly, can I just say a big thank you to the great hospitality showing to all of us by everyone over on this side of the world. It's been an absolute pleasure to come again this year and uh, people have been very, very welcoming. So uh, I'd just like to put that on the record. Uh, as far as the horse goes, it's all about the horse for us. It's not about the racing or the places. It's, uh, it's about whether she's back and... She's in fine form, she's healthy, she's well. So we can't give you a definitive answer now and we don't know ourselves until we get back to Australia and put her through another few trials and a bit of racing early in February, about the middle of February. So um, we'll certainly uh, give everybody the answer, but we don't want to preempt anything. We don't want to give anybody false hopes, uh, both here and in Australia. So uh, it's, it's all about winks and if she comes back and she's in the same form, we'll give great consideration to coming over this side of the world. Well, whatever she will do, if she comes over to Europe or if she stays in Australia, she's an amazing filly and we love watching her. Thank you very much. And if I would, could just invite Mr. Rick Tariq. He is the son of the owner, Richard, who I think is 87, and he usually watches Wings on TV. But you took over 100 friends, family over to Mooney Valley, so... I think it says it all about what she means to your father, but please tell us. Oh, yes. Um, Dad gets very emotional. So do I, actually. <laughs> to be on this ride with this horse is absolutely fantastic. It, um, it's once in a life, lifetime. And um, we have friends from New Zealand and Australia at the marquee, and it's absolutely fantastic. Well... I hope that you're going to have a marquee, maybe in Europe, maybe in Australia, we shall see. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, one more time. Congratulations to Winx. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, we come to the moment you've all been waiting for. The 2017 Longines World's Best Horse Race and the 2017 Longines World Best Race Horse Award. And it is with great pleasure that I ask Mr. Juan Carlos Capelli to introduce the winner of the Longines World's Best Horse Race. Ladies, gentlemen, it is time now to announce the 2017 Longines World Best Horse Race, honoring the greatest race in the world. The title of 2017 Longines World Best Horse Race goes to the inaugural winner of this award, the Qatar Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. It was a privilege and honor for Longines to be the official partner and timekeeper of this mythical race, which took place at Shorty Race Course. The panel of international handicappers gave this prestigious race rating of 126.25, making it the highest, highest rated race of the Group 1 international races in 2017. Today, I am delighted to declare the Qatar Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe as a winner of the 2017 Longines World Best Horse Race. Before we invite its president to the stage, I would like to show you a short video presenting you the very essence of this iconic equestrian event. de l'arc de triomphe. Il passe devant les grandes écuries avec Kinebel qui se montre brillant avec la grande favorite Kinebel qui maintenant est lancé à la corde par Franck Kinetori mais Ulysses qui vient à son extérieur et voilà également Close of Stars qui est lancé à son tour par Michael Barcelona mais Kinebel repart maintenant avec Close of Stars avec Ulysses qui est là Kinebel incroyable ici la police qui va enlever l'arc de triomphe Close of Stars est un incroyable deuxième la troisième place pour Ulysses Cinquième victoire de la course pour Franck Kiletori. She's very special. She was she was well positioned by Frankie in order to show her sheer class and brilliance. So, uh, look, it's all about the filly and the owner and the breed of Prince Khaled. He, he bred the mother, and you know his his whole farm to produce something like this. It's exciting for us all to see. Please welcome to the stage the President of France Gallo, Mr. Edouard de Rothschild, and the General Manager of France Gallo, Mr. Olivier Delois. Mr. de Rothschild, may I ask you for a few words? Thank you. Dear friends, it is a great pleasure to receive for the second time the Longines World's Best Horse Race Award 
for the Qatar Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. For the first one in 2015, the Qatar Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe was run at Longchamp and won by Golden Horn. Last year, it was run at Chantilly and won by the champion filet, Enable. In 2018, we will go back to the new Paris Longchamp, which will open on Sunday, the 8th of April, and will be officially inaugurated on Sunday, 29th of April, the day of our first Group 1 race of the year, the 600,000 euros Prix Gagné. We double the prize money this year to, in order to attract as many as we can. It will be a great honor to expose this commemorative plaque for the unique and the public on the new stand the same day. In conclusion, I would like to thank our two exceptional partners, His Excellency Issa Al Mohamed, the chairman of the Qatar Racing Equestrian Club, and Juan Carlos Capelli, the vice president of Longines, who is giving an outstanding support to the world of racing. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Mr. Delois, may I just ask you a few words about the new Paris Longchamp that uh, is going to open this year? Can you tell us what, to ex what we can expect there this year? Well, we can expect uh, for, for all of you to, uh, to enjoy some great racing experience in this new race course. Uh, it's a little bit of a challenge to get ready uh, for, for the opening on April the 8th, but we are, we are doing our very best uh, to welcome you, especially on the, the day of the inauguration uh, on April the 29th, hopefully with some great runners on the Prix Gane. And, uh, and of course, uh, to have all of you for the ARC on the first Sunday of October, that will be uh, obviously a very special renewal for, for France Gallo and French racing. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. The Qatar Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. Thank you. And we now come to the moment where we're going to crown a champion, the 2017 Longines World's Best Racehorse. Mr. Romani, please. Now it is time to turn to our final award of the afternoon. The title of Longines World Best Racehorse is an annual award given to the highest rated horse in the world as assessed by the Longines World Best Racehorse Rankings Committee, and it recognizes equine excellence at the highest level. For the first time since the award was created in 2013, we have a repeat winner in Arrogate, who first won in 2016. His remarkable effort in last year's Dubai World Cup earned a rating of 134. This means he is the 2017 Longines World Best Racehorse. His last two first victory in Dubai will live on the memories of everybody lucky enough to see it, especially as he had to defeat another excellent competitor in Gun Runner, the co-third highest rated horse in the world. Another amazing aspect of Arrogate's story is that he is trained by Hall of Famer Bob Baffert, who also conditioned American Pharaoh, the 2015 Longines World Best Race Horse. Furthermore, Arrogate is owned by John Mont Farms, which also owns Enable, winner of the 2017 Longines World Best Horse Race. It is our privilege to have Mr. Baffert and Lord Grimsorp with us here today. But before we invite Arrogate Connection to the stage, let's revisit his dominating performances. Until they break, I'm just, I'm pins and needles right now. They're off in the Pegasus World Cup. Arrogate was away well, and so was California Chrome. Down the back stretch they go. Julian Leparu and Noble Bird, offensive minded. They lead it by a length. Arrogate on the inside, California Chrome on the outside. 46 seconds for the opening half mile. And Mike Smith is the first to move as Arrogate moves up to take the lead. California Chrome is losing ground. And they're into the stretch. And it's the Breeders' Cup winner. It's Arrogate in front. But what a race! What a sport! What a horse! Arrogate rocks in the Pegasus! In one, 47 and three. If he could have been talking to me, telling me, don't worry, Bob, everything's cool, I would have been a lot cooler, buddy. But he's just, you know, such a superior gray horse. Here he comes. Arrogate. Up into gate number nine. Gates fly. 
they're racing in the Dubai World Cup and Aragon is last. Aragate's out wide now, he's still eight legs off the lead. Here comes the big A. Aragate on the outside. Gap runner in front of Neolithic, but Aragate swoops up on the outside. America's King Croesus of horse racing went to the front. 200 metres left to go. A is for Aragate. A is for absolute superstar. Aragate, a brilliant winner of the Dubai World Cup. I missed the break completely. How did that happen? How did he pull it off? I think it just happened for reasons. I mean, it made it an unbelievable race, man. It, it truly did. Anybody that was here tonight is going to leave here thinking, wow, I'm glad I was there to witness it. Ladies and gentlemen, at 134, the Longines World Best Resource for 2017 is Arrogate. Please welcome to the stage trainer Bob Buffett from America and Lord Grimthorpe representing the owner Prince Khalid Abdullah. Yes, congratulations. <laughs> Lord Grimso, if you uh, would be so kind and just join me. It, uh, it's amazing to have a horse like Arrogate. I'm sure that Prince Khaled Abdullah must be absolutely delighted to be adding him to the stallion roster now at Jap Monte Farms. He's so excited. Uh, I think Bob has done just a tremendous job with him. Uh, but I think that, that day in, in Dubai was, I, I think, I, I just said, I said, if you watched all our faces during the race, you'd, you'd have the sort of whole gamut of emotions in, in, in a minute and a half. Um, it was a really thrilling day. And, and a huge thank you to Longines for their fantastic support of, of horse racing. It really is special. Thank you very much. We're going to ask Mr. Buffett about that famous day in Dubai. You said it yourself, you couldn't believe that it was happening. And we all agree, everyone who was there who saw it will never forget it. The moment when the commentator said, an arrogate is last, what went through your mind at that point, now with a little bit, a few months later? <laughs> well, it was, it was pretty uh, disappointing because we'd gone all that way. And I sort of talked. The prince into running there, he wanted to wait. So uh, I got to thinking, well, he's going to be so upset with me for running this horse here. So, uh, but, you know, I, I still can't believe after watching that, you know, when I saw the, see the replay over and over. But one thing about all these horses today, they're just superior horses. They all have that in common. And, and to me, I've become a huge Winx fan. I, I, they should have Winx, but split with Debbie, watching both of them at the same time. <laughs> But um, it, it, it's just an honor to be here and, in, and an honor to, to have a horse like uh, Airgate. I mean, he was, uh, the, it's, you know, dirt racing is very demanding. And for him, what he did, you know, winning the Travers, breaking a record and, and the Breeders' Cups and Pegasus and then, then do that Dubai, I think that, uh, I think the Dubai race was like his drop the mic race. He just, that was it, you know, but uh, it's one of those things where, uh, you know, they, these horses bring us so much joy and, you know, it's, it's a lot of work. It's, it's not easy, but I have a great staff. And, but uh, yeah, I, I just feel, I appreciate being here and, and winning this again. Every time we've come here, the first time we came with American Pharaoh, we said, well, we'll never be here again, you know. But, uh, but to, to come here and see everybody here, it, it's just a great event. And, uh, and I get another watch. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. We certainly enjoy you having, being here. Thank you. Thank you. Please stay with me for a moment, and I would now like to invite one more time Mr. Eduardo Rothschild and Mr. Olivier Delois to come on stage because we are going to propose a toast. 
with a trophy, please. And if, if I could, um, yes. And while these gentlemen receive their glasses, ladies and gentlemen, if you would please raise your glasses and join me in thanking our gracious hosts, Mr. Juan Carlos Capelli from Longines and Mr. Louis Romanet from the IFHA, and in congratulating our 2017 Longines World's Best Racehorse, Arrogate, and our Longines 2017 Longines World's Best Horse Race, the Cata Prix de Lac de Triomphe. To the winners, cheers. cheers. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us here today. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon, safe travels. Thank you very much.